Good Monday morning. I hope that you had a wonderful Easter. Uh, my family and I did. Uh, we had pretty good weather here in Middle Tennessee and uh, great worship service. Our young pastor in his first official Easter service did a great job and I was proud of him. Good service and then we spent the afternoon with our kids and grandkids and friends and it was just a good, good day. And uh, I hope that yours was the same. And now we enter the week following Easter and start uh, the life that is ours as post-resurrection people. Because Jesus came and died and rose again, then we live a whole different kind of life. And we begin that afresh and anew on the Monday after Easter. In fact, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about beginning afresh and anew. Um, I, uh, I read an article. Well, nothing to do with that, but about marathon running. And, a, and an interesting statement jumped out at me. Uh, the statement was that people who are um, in the nines, their ages in the nines, 29, 39, 49, 59, those people on any given year, those people make up uh, nearly 50% of the runners in a, in a marathon. Isn't that an interesting thing? And the idea was, the thought was that when you are getting ready to start that that new chapter in your life, you're, you're turning that corner, I'm going to be 30, I'm going to be 40, I'm going to be 50, then you're more apt to take on some major project. This is kind of an interesting thought. The article that I read was about the power of the fresh start. There's something about... Uh, just re-energizing ourselves, taking a, a, a new look, and starting over fresh and anew. Easter is, uh, in, in many parts of the country, and maybe parts of the world, it is the, it is the, the heralding of spring, a new season, new beginning, new birth. Uh, my grandson and I are talking about planting the garden. Uh, I did a lot of work Saturday in getting our yard uh, spiffed up for Easter. It's it's that time of the year when we start turning, leaving one season behind us and turning towards another season. Uh, it's it's the time of the year when spring breaks are over, and now we are the kids are on their way back to uh, that final push before the end of the year. There's just a, there's a a sense of a new start at this time of the year. Perhaps that's important for you. It may be that when you started the new year, you had some great goals, some great ideas, some great thoughts, ambitions, uh, and and things have not gone according to plan. And, and you just need a fresh start. You need a new beginning. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with that. So I would encourage you, uh, these four things I would share for you to take a look at and see if this doesn't help you to, to make a new start, a new beginning at this time of the year. First one is this, remember where you started. Remember what was important. Remember the goals that you had. Remember the New Year's resolutions that you set. And, and why were they so important? Why did you want to do that? Why did you want to lose a few pounds? Why did you want to begin to read your Bible daily? Why did you uh, want to stay more connected with family and friends? Uh, re remember where you started. Go back to that and, and think about, well, this was important to me and I think it would be important to me again. Just take a look at this time of the year at, at the goals and things that you set in the year and remember that. Remember what you were all about. Here's the second thing then, and that is reevaluate where you are. Are you on track? Are you are you doing the things that you hoped you would do? Are you are you uh, have you lost a few pounds? Are you reading your Bible daily? Are you accomplishing what you wanted to accomplish? If not, why not? What's happened? Perhaps some of your circumstances has changed and those goals that were important are not even important anymore. But perhaps you've just kind of fallen by the wayside and you'd like to to have a fresh start. So reevaluate R and take a good look, a good honest uh, look at, at, at how you are as opposed to where you wanted to be at this time of the year. And then here's number three, rekindle your passion. If those things were important then and they're still important now, then then rekindle that, re, refire that, get, uh, get excited about it. Uh, 
decide that this is what I want to do. I it is important to me to lose a few pounds. It is important to me to to uh, stay connected to people that I care about. Rekindle the passion. Spend the time meditating on that and thinking about that and 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 allowing God to rekindle that passion in you. Which leads me to the fourth thing, and that is renew your commitment. Renew your commitment. David in the fifty first Psalm is at this fresh start time. He's been confronted by the prophet Nathan about his sin. And he says, oh, I'm, I want to make a new start. I want to do something different. Uh, in this very uh, great prayer of lament, the 51st Psalm, this one verse comes out. He says, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Restore unto me the joy of my salvation. That's my prayer for me, quite honestly, at this time of the year. It's my prayer for you too, that we would that we would recommit to uh, renew our, our commitment, recommit to what God is doing in our lives and allow him to restore the joy in us. There's nothing wrong with a fresh start, and this might be a good time to do that. Speaking of fresh start, I'm going to begin again this Wednesday. What difference does that make with my courting, the podcast? And we will be doing a weekly presentation of the systematic theology class that I've been teaching for a while. I, uh, again, speaking of fresh start, for those of you who did the 40 day uh, spiritual adventure with me about 10 days ago, I just fell apart. I am sorry. I just lost it. But for good reasons, I began to sleep and it is an amazing answer to prayer but I have to change my schedule because I can no longer count on getting up at three o'clock in the morning to write these blogs and do podcasts. So I'm going to schedule a little bit. I hope that you'll be a part of all that. I hope more than anything that today you'll just have a great Monday and God will give you a fresh start as you serve him well. Thanks for being here today.